with Teddy Otieno. A very good afternoon and welcome. Two people have been killed by suspected Al Shabaab militants in Lamu. This follows an attack in Pandango. Meanwhile, residents have been urged to work with the authorities in order to ward off cases of insecurity. Here is OCS Sami Kamara of Hindi. Jambo la kuambia ni kwa kuambia ku, wakati wanaendelea kusherekea pia kuna lamu kuna kuanga na challenge insecurity tafadhali tushirikiane na wao kama kuna kitu yoyote inatokea watujulishe mapema na sisi tuko tuko kasi kwa 24 hours atulali na tuko tayari kusaidia wananchi wa lamu lakini tunawaambia wakipiga sherehe wakumbuke pia wakati wanapiga sherehe wa minimize kama kulewa sana ile inaisaleta pia madhara mengine wakati wa afta kulewa sasa from Lamu, we cross over to Turkana, where police have launched investigations into an incident that saw a section of Nape Tom Primary School in Turkana torched. The unknown assailants torched the school's administration block, reducing property of unknown value to ashes. <laughs> Mposo askari waliweza kuona moto ime mwaka pale na wakatindia wakuko, lakini walipata hawa alivu wanatoroka. Well, residents uh, led by Kapedo Napeitom MCA, Willy Nalimo, have called on the government to look into the matter. Na nakuambia we president, Ruto, kwamba hakuna disarmament inafanyika pale. Wale askari waleta huko, wanaishi tu, wanalelea kukula mali ya zirikale, wakiishi pale. Bila kazi, mai ilieto kufanya. Kufanya. Hakuna kazi nafanya huko. Kazi yao ni kupata tu barabara, yu ndio patrol. Barabara na kurudi kambi. Barabara na kurudi kambi. Hata wakati tumeambia hawa mifugo yetu imeingia mahali fulani. Kwa ni nini ngumu kupitia pale, sirikali hiko na drone, sirikali hiko na ndege, hiyo yote haya. Hakuna muta natumia. A section of the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers Officials have called on TSC to promote teachers. While speaking to Hot 96, they called on the employer to promote those who've been in service for years. The advertisement by the Teacher Service Commission on various job groups that they were advertised, our members have been disenfranchised, our members have been disadvantaged, particularly on job group C2 for diploma teachers and job group C3 for degree teachers. The career progression guideline 2017 uh, has not addressed the issue of stagnation. Well, now let's uh, cross over to another story where plans are in place to ensure safety for holiday makers along the coastal strip. Kenya Maritime Authority Chairperson Hamisi Moguya said this will help reduce cases of accidents. This comes the day after two people died at Pirates Beach in Mombasa after their boat capsized yesterday. The bodies have been taken to Coast General Hospital Mochari. Yeah, we are going to intensify the safety campaign. The holidays are just starting and uh, it's unfortunate that we've had this incident. So we are going to deploy more officers on the ground to make sure that uh, we, we don't face uh, a similar incident uh, once more. I want to urge the holiday makers to be careful as they enjoy the oceans and the beach and also make sure they put on the safety, uh, the life jackets when they board uh, the, the boats. It's unfortunate that this has happened. We lost two people and we were able to save at least uh, nine of them. So it's unfortunate but uh, we are going to increase our surveillance of, uh, of the uh, Bamburi Beach. Christmas celebrations turned tragic after a middle-aged man jumped to his death from an entertainment joint in Kericho town. Witnesses said the man died on the spot after sustaining serious head injuries. Officers from Kericho police station moved his body to Kericho Referral Hospital Mochari. In Nyamira, police are probing an incident where the body of a newborn baby was found dumped in a river. Well, a police report seen by Hot 96 shows that the body was found in River Nyabara in Yamira South. Meanwhile, police have appealed to members of the public to volunteer information that will help in the search of the baby's parents. The body has been taken to Nyamira County Referral Hospital. 
A hundred days after they began, the longest-running anti-government protests in Iran since the 1979 Islamic Revolution have shaken the regime, but at a heavy cost to the people. Human rights activists said more than 500 protesters, including 69 children, have been killed. Two protesters have been executed and at least 26 others face the same fate after what Amnesty International calls sham trials. Although nationwide demonstrations have swept Iran before, once in 2017, lasting until early 2018, and another in November 2019, the current protests are unique as they involve people from across society, and women are taking a lead role under the slogan, Woman, Life, Freedom. That brings us to seven minutes past one. These and more stories in the next hour. I'm Teddy Otieno. Good afternoon. The Hot 96 News. We don't play